Wetland areas in Sweden are a staging area for the fight against dangerous oxygen-eating algae blooms caused by leftover fertilizer pouring into the Baltic Sea. So the Baltic is, uh, you can say, a big bay of the Atlantic. And there are nine countries around there. There are 90 million people living here. There are lots of farmland. And they use fertil fertil fertilizers to increase the crops. And that's this phosphorus and nitrogen. And that goes into the Baltic. It is not the water in the wetlands that conservationists want, but the pike that come here to breed. They can actually feel or sense the warmer water coming out from the ponds or the wetlands, sorry. Uh, and so they feel that and they actually move towards it and up the canals and the streams and they end up here in this wetland. And pikes are the frontline troops in the fight to control algae. In 2014, there was a total number of 62 fish that reached these spawning grounds. And in the coming years, like last year, they saw a lot of small pike that came out of the wetlands into the archipelago. And uh, now in two 2017, there has been 350 pikes. So how are pike helping to fight algae blooms? They don't, not directly anyway, but pike eat smaller fish and those smaller fish eat zooplankton. And zooplankton eat the algae that is sucking all the oxygen out of the water, a process called eutrophication. So that's the pike is really a very important predator out there and decrease the eutrophication of the Baltic, which is a big problem for people and for the animals, because that's the one who kills the bottoms of the Baltic, where the Baltic dies. It is an example of how complicated ecosystems can be and how making one slight tweak can have a huge impact. Kevin Enix, VOA News, Washington.